Oh boy, TGIT for tonight. It is a big crossover event for the premiere of Grey's Anatomy, Station 19. To tell us more, Dr. Amelia Shepard herself, it is Katerina Scrisoni. We say uh, good morning to Katerina at her house. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, is this your first ever Skype, Zoom, at-home thing? You know what, this is... It's not my first one, but it is, I feel like it's my first one. <laughs> the other one happened like very early in the pandemic right. and I feel that I forgot everything. So All right. well, please be patient. So far, so good. Uh, did you think we were going to like erect scaffolding at your house and hang lights and do a whole thing? I don't, I don't know what I thought. I think I, I didn't think about it enough until the moment before. And then I was like, wait, what are we doing? <laughs> All right. To the show. Here's the thing. You and Link have had a baby. He proposed yeah. to you. You said no. Did you say no because his name is Link? I think that's reason enough. You know, there is there was a comment on the show that his, that his name is Atticus Lincoln, and he's based his name is from like two of these great characters in history, and that he went with the nickname Link is kind of an odd choice. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think so too. Um, so uh, we're, question. When you guys do these big crossovers, is it cooler to be an actor playing a doctor or an actor playing a fireman? I mean, in terms of like danger to myself, I would prefer to be a doctor than a fireman, I think. But um, they're both heroes. They're both heroes. There's um, no, no question about that. Heroes with busy personal lives. So we've got a clip for tonight. <laughs> uh, we'll see what is going on with you and Link. Look. Okay. He is so big. <laughs> 21 pounds, 26 inches, and he needs to get to daycare. Welcome back, Maggie. I hope the honeymoon was a blast. Have you two talked more? I would turn Scout's one-year checkup into couples therapy, in which I accuse Link of being a gaslighter and old-fashioned for believing that commitment only equals marriage. Mm. But I am so happy that you and Winston are doing it. Mm. Put him on your wrist. It is a sex injury, isn't it? Good for you. <laughs> All right, at least some couples are getting along. Lots of new, uh, new I don't want to say new old, but people are coming back. Uh, of course, Addison Montgomery, Kate Walsh is coming back. Abigail Spencer is coming back. Is it fun to welcome these people back? I mean, so fun. And I think, you know, I've been on this show for a, a while. <laughs> and um, and I was on private practice before that with Kate Walsh, who plays Addison. And th they're actually my people. Like, these are actually my friends. And so um, I haven't seen Kate in a while. She was in Australia through the whole pandemic. And so having her come back, it really does feel like a family reunion. And we just got to, like, hang out in the trailer and chat all day. And it was it was just so wonderful having her there. <laughs> uh, you, could, you could see in your face as you talk about it. You've been on the show for a decade. Uh, obviously, yeah. Ellen Pompeo has been there from the very beginning. But, but yeah. the, the idea of, on one level, everybody wants an ongoing job that continues. That, that is you know, exciting and lucrative. There's a lot of advantages to that. Sometimes yeah. I think people feel stuck. What has prevented you from feeling stuck? I'll tell you, I actually have a whole theory about this. I think I approach it uh, almost like, it's kind of like more like performance art. Like I think a lot of people are like, I did the character, I did the show and now I'm moving on. And I see it like how you see being a human being where you're constantly evolving and changing. And if you can kind of approach your character that way and be like, oh, it's fascinating to watch a person's life unfold and all of these things that happen to her change her, let's, see how that changes the story and the way this feels, then it just stays interesting. And do you feel, that, because I, I tell you what, uh, Ellen has talked about this, that, that, that I think she has said, and I'm, I'm paraphrasing, that some, mm -hmm. she feels she is Meredith Grey. That there, there you know, there's, oh. so, do you, <laughs> are you this person? No, <laughs> well, no, but uh, so Amelia and Katerina are very, very different people in their in their lives, but I think, Something that's so interesting about being an actor is you get to explore these like um, kind of parts of, of the human psyche that are universal. It's just you're amplifying certain ones of them in certain characters. So Amelia is far more troubled than um, than Katerina has been in her life. <laughs> speaking in the third person, um, but you get to lean into these areas that maybe you don't do in your life, but you get to be like, what would that be like? What would that be like if you kind of leaned into that and amplified it? And um, and so it's it's kind of a fascinating exploration of like humans. And then you understand everybody better. You know so what? That, that was a very good explanation. I can see why uh, it remains 
very fresh and fun for you. Katarina, <laughs> good to see you. Enjoy the rest of your day. We'll tell folks the Station 19 Grey's Anatomy crossover event. That is a big deal. It's tonight at 8. It's on ABC. Frank and Jess across the way.